Okay, my exceptionally interesting, intelligent, inquisitive, smart in every way friends, I am again a researcher. Everything is on the table. Everything. And I have found that everything is trying to be crushed. Now, the reason I show this, and you know, that I have a lot of research is that people are blocking things. Now let me just show you something about a big group I'm in. And the person that runs this group, her name is Rima, she's a very, very nice person. However, the people that are part of academia in general seem to have an attitude that they, nobody wants to hear anything that goes against what they say. Now, let me just show you this and then we'll get into um, the research that's being done on the new antibody um, research. Now we're going to get into this in a minute. Antibody cocktail to prevent and treat COVID-19 enters late stage trials. That is nothing more than probiotics. We'll talk about it in a second. But let me just show you this first because this is the pushback against anybody that tries to invade their territory with new information, how, no matter how valid it is. came to the development of a COVID vaccine. We've compressed it all into an amazing time period because we need it, because there was no choice. This is a war on our soil and we have to respond. Top health officials, including Dr. Anthony Fauci, stress no measures are being cut in the development of any of these vaccines. Dr. David Aga says all safety protocols are being followed except one, long-term studies, and that's simply because we need the vaccine now. Anthony? Well, we sure do, Meg. Thank you very much. Later today, an Army National Guard officer... Okay, I just want to make a mention about this. This was four weeks ago I commented on 60 Minutes reporting on probiotics. Now listen to, I, did, I was so hopeful, listen to this. This is a snapshot of the microbiome. And then this is the trillions of bacteria there. Yeah. They're trillions of bacteria pointed out, showing them living there. There's good bacteria and there's bad bacteria. And there's trillions. They're represented by the different colors. The microbiome, the bacterial community in our gut, is a wonder. They help process the food that we consume, but they don't. That's what everybody always thought, was it just was a place for breaking down food and getting it ready to be absorbed in the correct manner. Well, and then everything else just gets flushed out as poop or urine or whatever. Now, it's been understood, though, that the microbiome is, a, uh, is part of the immune system, but they still just don't get it. Now, listen do a lot more than that. They make vitamins. They're able to produce essential amino acids. They're able to talk to our immune system and help educate the immune system. All of that is exactly correct. And then, I, so I am so excited, and then they went on to say, oh, it just appears to be doing really nothing, basically. The woman from Boston University, I was very distressed. This is my opinion, but I was totally distressed with her abilities to understand what's really going on. Okay, my friends, I just had to show you that to just because it's, there's such a pushback against anything that doesn't follow mainstream. Now, it, it, and here's a real issue right here. Medical industry doesn't even know seriously the difference between viruses and bacteria and enzymes. They just don't understand the difference. They're talking about the gut microbiome, and they've always thought of that as the digestive area. This is where all food becomes the size that you can eat. So it says the adage, all things in moderation, applies not to just to food and drink, but also to the legions of bacteria inside of our guts. All things in moderation. You need good and bad. They help us digest that food and drink. All right, so that's the way we always thought of the stomach and the, you know, the uh, intestines and all that stuff. And then you poop out whatever you didn't use. Now, it turns out the rule may also extend to the lesser understood bacteriophages. Well, what's a bacteriophage? Well, bacteria, everybody knows what bacteria is, little living organisms. That's what bacteria is, living little critters. 
Now, what are those bacterial phages? What does that mean? What's a phage? Well, a phage is literally a white blood cell occupant that creates an enzyme or a virus. We think the bacteria and the viruses are different. You know, in, 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 well, they don't know. They just don't know. They, they, this, they're just starting to not, they never understood this at all. See, they say the, bac the lesser understood are these bacterial phages. Now, I'll, I'll explain to you exactly what they are because I understand exactly what they are. And I can show you in a video exactly what they are. Now, they are viruses that infect the bacteria living inside us. Yes and no. The bacteriophages create the viruses that infect other bacteria. Think of it, slow down. The bacteriophages, they're little living critters, they squirt out enzymes which are viruses. Those viruses have an address attached to them that says go out and kill this other bacteria guy. So that bacteria guy was creating something that was trying to kill you. So you have your body starts to understand we have an invasion and here's the guy that we're going to send out to kill those other bacteria. Now, that bacteria is in the process of trying to kill you, and it might be extremely virulent and very fast multiplier and squirting nasty stuff all inside of you like this COVID. However, if you have your bacteriophages in population ready to go, bam, they never even, they're just dead before they even get out off the launching pad. So you don't get COVID. Now, and they understand this now. There's, this is now understood that these antibodies are coming from people that have been infected and they're taking them out of their immune system, they're putting them into other people. Well, that's not going to help forever, I don't think, unless they somehow are repopulators and reprogrammers. I'm going to look into that deeper. But what we really need is the antibodies in us. The antibodies are created by the bacteria. That's the ones that create them. Antibodies are enzymes. Enzymes are viruses. It's, it's a ball of the same thing, and they just don't understand it. All right, he, he, listen to this now. It says, we're appreciating more and more that the most abundant microbial entities in the human gut are actually viruses. Well, they're not. They're bacteria. But they create the viruses, and the viruses are the enzymes. Now, and this is Dr. Eric Martins, Ph.D., Associate Professor of Microbiology and Immunology at the United, uh, University of Michigan's Medical School. Now, his team has been exploring the puzzling way bacteria and their viruses, which bacteria create viruses, yes, appear to coexist. Now, they don't coexist. This one creates that one. All right? And they are inside the human gut. Well, you need good bacteria, you need bad bacteria. That's the whole deal. Now, they were looking at this sugar coating, thinking that maybe that's the something they could use to defend not only against attacks from human, but also from various viruses seeking a way in. But that's not, that's not the story, because they found out it has nothing to do with it. They said uh, uh, even when they're bald, they still do it. Okay, here it is right down there. We were intrigued to see we could take away all of the capsules and still infect it with these phages, and the bacteria could still survive, which necessitates they have a backup mechanism in place. So they really they don't understand it. Interplay between the gut microbiome and their phages could have implications for human disease, obviously. One of our hypotheses is that individuals carrying different types of viral loads in their guts, some could be more or less immunogenic. Yes, interacting with our immune system to cause inflammation. The inflammation is caused by bad bacteria creating some kind of attack on our tissues. They also might modify the physiology of the bacteria that are there by forcing them to express certain functions, capsules that we also know interact with immune systems. Yes, that's coming from the CPG islands in the brain. They are expressing genes. They say, well, the gene's not being expressed. Well, maybe the gene is being expressed and said, turn on and create this certain type of enzyme, which is a virus, 
but it has to have the bacteria there to do it. We have killed our bacteria in our guts with antibiotics. Almost every kid has a problem with their gut. And every adult does just about. I mean, certainly every adult has a, has a compromised immune system in one way or another. It's not ideal, let me put it that way. Now, I saw a guy that was doing something fabulously, taking, taking all of the important parts out of plants and doing it in the way they used to do it a bazillion years ago, strictly by letting... Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, this guy was doing alchemy. And what he was doing was taking plants and all these different types of plants, most, I think, like cabbage and stuff like that. And then with the yeast, he was making it percolate into um, breaking down all of the fibers and so forth and drawing out all of the metals and or the minerals out of it. And then he just let it drain through there and drained it out into a, a metalized solution that had all of these these important ingredients in it are already removed from the from the vegetation so it became like a, a a very strong you know a helpful um bunch of particles in your body to create whatever you need to create from them so you need that then you need the bacteria that that sorts that stuff out and and builds it together by using these enzymes and so forth. Very elegant system, but you have to have all the pieces in place. If you don't have the bacteria, you're not going to create the the enzymes. If you don't have the enzymes, you're not going to create the products. If you don't have the products in your body to begin with, the enzymes are not going to have anything to work with. It's it, and it's really not all that hard to to get it all in order. But once you destroy the order, then you have nothing to work with or you don't have the workers to do the job. So you've got to get everything back in the right shape. And the only way to do that and find out where, where your body is, is to be able to look into it and say, what is the bacteria in there? What is, is the guy taking the right foods? Does the guy have the right bacteria? And then you're good to go. Once you get those two things rocking, Bingo, off to the show, you're good to go. Okay, once again, strictly research. We're looking into bacteriophages. This is fairly new research because they always thought of bacteria in your gut and so forth as digestive enzymes, and they break down foods and then they, you just poop out the balance. Well, now they're looking at it is in reference to what I've been talking about for years, the enzymes in your body are created by bacteria right? and an enzyme is a virus they just don't understand the, the how it's all related to each other all you have in your body is bacteria now some's good some's bad that's all now some create good viruses some create bad viruses both of them are enzymes and what is an enzyme an enzyme is just a molecule it's a chemistry kit but it is so freaking elegant that we could never create them and these do it in a click of your fingers they can create these unbelievably elegant molecules that go out and infect other bacteria to kill them or to help them they, these phages are a form of a virus, right? They're enzymes, which is a virus. The phages attack the bacterial cells and inject a viral genome into the cell. Well, the phages attack the bacterial cells, yes, but that phage has what's called an antigen, and the antigen is an address. So when the phage is created in, and I'm going to show you it being created, when it's created, inside the white blood cell and that's what it created it, it has an address on it just like you put a, a an address on a on a letter and then you attach the code to it which is the antibody and the antibody goes into the cell so it comes over here and it says oh you're the guy I'm looking for you're the guy address it click it goes there <laughs> squirts in some stuff 
which is the antibody. And that goes through these protein channels. And I've shown those in a number of ways, even in my other research. Now, so it goes through these protein channels, because that's a protein. And it gets inside the cell, and it does its job. However, if you don't have the gene expressed, which means you don't have the understanding of what to do, then you're not going to get this squirt in here. Now, if you, almost everybody has the genes can be expressed, unless you had some kind of serious brain damage. Normally, these are up there in your CPG island area of your brain, which is called junk DNA. It's not junk DNA. It's areas that does processing and has programs built into it and has reaction codes and all that stuff. So when your, your CPG island up in your junk DNA receives a signal from your vagus nerve, which is the vagus nerve goes from way up there in your junk DNA brain cells all the way down to every single organ in your body. Every single thing that is in your body is touched by that vagus nerve. That's why your fingers twitch and you can do all kinds of things. That nerve sends impulses, but it also controls all of your organs and your organs are where your different products are made and broken down and excreted and all of that stuff it's really a lot more simple than they're making it now uh, you're making it out to be now they're trying to find um um vaccine which is really gene altering that goes in and they change the codes in you now if they don't get it right and it alters something else. I, I don't think that's a great thing. Uh, be, you know, and I'm not saying don't take vaccines. I'm saying the vaccines, if you want to take a vaccine, that's, I have no problem with that. I'm just saying they can alter a lot of different things. That's why they go through all these extended trials. Obviously, you don't want to just squirt something in and let's see what happens. But let me tell you something. These things are already in you. They know what to do. So now they have realized that this is where we got to point our fingers. And I've been talking about this for a long time. And to get these bacteriophages working, all you got to do is take probiotics. You take them right now, and in 10 minutes, you are starting to get better. I'm just, I, I guarantee you that's just the way they work. That I know. Now, again, that's research. That's not saying stop this or don't do this or do that. Research says that it, probiotics immediately start to they are the are, they are the enzymes in a lot of cases sometimes they're living bacteria and they will squirt in these things right away if they get presented with that request the other thing is you are actually putting the the enzymes right in so the enzymes are just going in and causing whatever happens in the cells to happen but this is the technology we need to be working on, not the virus thing, uh, vaccine as much. Well, I work on both of them. So again, research, not go this way, go that way. I don't want to go against anybody's guidelines. If a guidelines and all of these scientists say, do it this way, do it that way, that's fine. All I'm doing is presenting uh, what the latest research shows, because there is a lot of latest research being ignored um, in, in every area. So uh, what you need to do is to look at this again, and again, this is for researchers, this is for you, for everyone. I'm, I'm taking probiotics myself, and I take these right here. Primal Defense HSO Probiotic Formula. And they've been working for me, and everybody else has been taking them, it's been working for them. I get nothing from these people, I don't know them, I never talked to anybody there. It's just that they worked. And my friend Roger uh, Dunnigan turned me on to this years ago. He, they were going to come up and do a movie of my research, and he mentioned somewhere along the line he was going to die. And he, he says, I took this stuff and I got better. <laughs> I said, no, come on. And then I started to go, I think he was the one that turned me on to start looking into this. Um, anyway, Roger, brother, thank you, my friend. You probably have saved a lot of lives, believe it or not. It's just, the world is amazing.